Hi guys, this is Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. We are here in the really cool game of Paradise Lost. And in the uh, last episode, which was the first episode, we found this bunker and we learned some of the backstory. We are a, a young boy and we used to live with our mother and she passed out. Um, the game is just showing us bits and pieces of what's happening. We are in a bunker owned by the Germans that was built in the 40s and used up until the 60s so far. Um, they have all these underground trains. The people who were allowed to come into this bunker were only allowed one suitcase. And basically, um, I guess they were trying to take, they, there was a musician in one, a singer, there was a cartoonist. So, um, I guess only select people were allowed to come into these bunkers. So let's find out what happens next. The only thing that's annoying me so far is that my kid is shivering and we keep passing all these clothes and blankets and he can't pick anything up to get warm. But other than that, I'm really thinking it's a cool game. It's not like your typical game, but it's very atmospheric and the graphics are beautiful and I am very interested in this, in finding out what's going on. And why, why do we still have electricity? Okay, this is something we can move, but I don't know what it's gonna do. So maybe we should look around first. Dear Leopold, Many times I prayed, please God, make me ignorant, make me blind to what is clearly in front of me. I am just a simple machinist, doing what is asked of him, but in my heart I always knew the day would come when I had to pay for all these years of looking the other way. What pains me even more is now that the day has finally come, and you are the one who must suffer the consequences, not me. Today I lose a friend. And I can't help but wonder if it had to be this way. Maybe if I'd found the courage to question my orders, I'd have known this would be our final journey together. I salute you, my old friend. I am truly sorry that it had to end like this. What? So this was their final journey together? So, are these like the bad trains that would take people to, to their death? Because it kind of doesn't seem like that. It. Oh, man. Freaking Nazis. Then what does this one do? <laughs> Nothing. Wait, the 
his train is called Leopold. Was the machinist writing the letter to his train? Maybe it wasn't Leopold and I'm just forgetting. Look it, there's a jacket right here. again. They've even got the sound of the crunchy snow down. Like, when it's really cold, the snow crunches like this. Okay, I see what I missed. I see what I missed. this train. He's saying a prayer. a gas mask. What just happened? We're not, we're not in 
the train anymore. What? Are we having another fla another flashback? But I can still move him. Is this our house? This must be where we live. Oh, I'm so confused. I'm just assuming this is a flashback, but I don't know why, if it is, that I can move. Oh, is that his mother? Oh, his mother died. Don't worry, Mom. I'll be okay. What am I going to do now, Mom? Mom, I can't do this without you. Oh, heartbreaking. And now I'm stuck. Nothing I'm hitting is getting me out of this. Oh, I'm not stuck. I'm an idiot. We have to choose one of these, you guys, with the mouse wheel. Um, don't worry, Mom. I'll be okay. Or what am I going to do now, Mom? Or Mom, I can't do this without you. I think I'm going to say, don't worry, Mom, I'll be okay. So. See you, Mom. Oh, this poor little boy. So this is how he left. Okay, and now we are back in, we just got out of this train. The game was working perfectly fine, it was me being an idiot. <laughs> oh well. We're at number one now. Oh my gosh, you guys. This game is just enormous. So we are looking for number four. Yeah. We're looking for number four, we're at number one. Should we go look over here before we try to go in? Okay. Just wanted to make sure there's nothing I just needed to look at. Let's try to get in and get away from this wind. This would be so cool in virtual reality. So I hate that symbol so much. More luggage. Edelweiss. Much like a seed, we grow underground in this fertile German soil. We will grow tall and bloom in July. 
just like an Edelweiss does. One little Edelweiss, my little Edelweiss, beautiful, noble, and white. And that's, there's a song, Edelweiss, Edelweiss. I know that from the sound of music. I don't know what the first word is, but the second word is Berlin. And the last one is Nicht. Nicht, I think, means no. Nine means no, and Nicht means no or not. That's as much as I know. Nicht's gut means not good, so. Nucked is night. My dad is Austrian, but he never taught me how to speak German. And my dad was a baby during the war. But his sisters remember the war. They, uh, they had to hide the girls in the attic so that the the soldiers wouldn't rape them. So my Auntie Erna, who was an Austrian lady, and her sister Adele, they had to hide in the attic so that the soldiers wouldn't hurt them. That's pretty, um... Yeah. Big, this is just huge, massive. Oh, it's a little toy tank. This is a place to get tickets. Oh, I see something over here. Entrance instructions. In order to enter Gessel Shaft, follow these step-by-step -step instructions. One, have your Ausweis ready. Two, form a line at the window. Three, give the clerk your Ausweis for stamping. Four, Take your stamped identification and proceed to the entry point in an orderly fashion. Five, scan your stamped Ausweis at the entrance console. This is your ticket to Gesselshaft. Gesselshaft or Gesselshaft? I don't know. So we're looking for an Ausweis, which... Passport, maybe? Like, look at all these perfectly good coats that we could be putting on top of our clothing. So obviously I am missing something. Let's look around, see if we can find a ticket somewhere.
Okay, here's the suitcase. Okay. He took it, and now it's on the bottom left of the screen, so that must be our ticket that we need. list. One suitcase per person. You need your Oswice, which is your ticket. You need your handbook, your toothbrush, a bar of soap, a pair of slacks, a white or a blue shirt, seriously? A jacket, undergarments, and socks. And you're only allowed two pairs? One personal item. And it must be stamped at the greening chamber. And you're not allowed food, beeswax, animals, medicine, or plants, or weapons. Wow. And you just see all these belongings left behind everywhere. So I saw a stamp over here. Oh, I thought I saw a stamp over here. Yeah, there's a stamp. No, oh, it's this thing here. Okay. Not, when I heard stamp, I was imagining something more along the lines of these kind of stamps. Did you just hear that sound? Look at the damage to the roof of this building. And look at there's water, or is that glare ice maybe on the floor? Here's the ticket machine. Oh, I was about to have a sip of my coffee, but I need to do this first. Achievement unlocked. Had to have a sip of my coffee. Mmm. Yum. Okay, well. Oh man, that closed behind us. I don't understand if we're so far underground how how we're suddenly not underground anymore. To Russia officials, or Russia, I am not pleased. I was taken from the front line in the midst of an assault on the enemy, and then hidden underground like a coward. Just because there may, may be a need for someone in my position for, to protect high-ranking dignitaries that may or may not arrive at this shelter. I had been preparing that attack for weeks and was denied the opportunity to ensure its success. I was told, soon there will no longer be such a thing as the front line, and you should consider this an honor. The audacity. I am requesting reassignment to my previous post without delay. Hail, I'm not saying that. Oh, and this guy's name is Hugo. Okay. So he's mad that he didn't get to kill and plunder. <sighs> My kid is just randomly cold.
Well, I'm assuming... Welcome in. That means welcome. All arrivals, welcome to Gessel Shaft. You are now located in the greetings chamber. Due to the higher air pressure, you may experience some discomfort. Do not be alarmed. Your body will soon adjust to the new conditions. Staying in the Gessel Shaft is a guarantee of safety, innovation, and freedom from any blood crimes. Blood crimes, that's so disgustingly gross. All of you have been carefully chosen by the Office of Racial Policy ugh, to continue the thousand year Reich down here, where the degradation of the outside world cannot reach you. Here, where the physically and mentally inferior cannot perpetuate their suffering in the body of their children. And even though you are far below the surface, it is historical record that solitude provides the conditions for the greatest of societies. You know what? That's a bunch of crap. And you know, I'm not like a biologist. I don't know anything about genetics. But they would have such weird offspring if they put a bunch of people that were all the same and just had them. They would be interbred like poodles. I have asthma and allergies. The only dog I can have is a poodle. I'm not allergic to poodles. I love poodles, okay? I love them dearly. But they have been so badly interbred that they have horrible, horrible health issues. And that's exactly what would happen to people. You, you need diversity. Man. I guess that's the way we're going. Get the little bunny rabbit. It's a beautiful elevator. Huh? He sounds like one of those Minecraft villagers. What's happening? He's freaking out. My kid is freaking out. Anger. We got an achievement unlocked denial. Okay, he's angry. Okay. Oh, you know what? This must be the beginning of a new chapter. Denial must have been the first chapter, and this must be the anger chapter. So maybe this would be a good place to to stop, but... I don't know what's happening again. <sighs> huh? He sounds just like a Minecraft villager. <laughs> Okay, so I think we started a whole new thing um, with anger here. And we seem to be at a cutscene because he's moving all by himself. Because I have my coffee cup in my hand. So I'm, I'm assuming that that's a good place to stop. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that like button. And please subscribe for more. And... Let me know how you're liking this. It's it's different, but I, I'm enjoying it. Other than I, I hate everything about racism and the Nazis. But this is very cool, and it's an alternative universe, and it's just a game. But um, let me know what you think. All right, guys, take care and stay safe. And thank you so much for spending time with me. Bye for now.